Hello, I'm Dennis McDonough. I'd like to take a few minutes to recognize National Native American Heritage Month and to pay tribute to the many American Indians and Alaska Natives whose cultures, traditions, and commitment to this country have shaped our rich history and are woven into the very fabric of our nation. It is especially important to honor those who have served in uniform during times of war and the periods of restless peace in between. Native Americans have participated in every American conflict back to the Revolutionary War, the battlefields of the Civil War, Europe, the Pacific, Korea, Vietnam, Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan, always answering the calls to duty with courage, selflessness, and willingness to sacrifice. In fact, Native Americans serve in the military at a higher rate than any other group. But when they returned home, Native American vets were too often denied the benefits and disability pay they earned and could not depend on access to the quality care they deserved. Their willingness to put their lives on the line is a testament to unyielding determination, bravery, and strength. But it's also a reminder of our shared obligation to serve all vets every bit as they've served us. So let me highlight the stories of some extraordinary veterans and public servants who epitomize what it means to keep moving this country forward toward that more perfect union through their service. They are an inspiration to all of us. We remember the courage of the 33 Native Americans who have received the Medal of Honor, the highest award for valor in the United States. One of those recipients is Dwight Wayne Birdwell, a citizen of the Cherokee Nation and U.S. Army veteran who was one of the first U.S. soldiers to engage with the enemy during the Tet Offensive in Vietnam. For his heroism, he received the Medal of Honor in 2022. We salute the bravery of Pascal Pula of the Kiowa Nation. He is one of the nation's most decorated soldiers in U.S. history. With 42 medals and citations, including four silver stars, five bronze stars, as well as three purple hearts spanning combat in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. His fourth star was awarded posthumously. He died in action in Vietnam in 1967. We acknowledge the resolve and commitment of Minnie Spotted Wolf of the Blackfoot Confederacy. In 1943, she became the first Native American woman to join the U.S. Marine Corps serving as a heavy equipment operator. We lift up the legacy of Solomon Atkinson, an Alaska native from the Metlakatla Indian community on Annette Island, and one of the first U.S. Navy SEALs. Following a career which included multiple combat deployments to Korea and Vietnam, he continued to serve his community as an elected leader and founder of Annette Island's very first veteran service organization. And we honor the memory of Lori Piestola, a memory of the Hopi tribe and an army specialist who became the first Native American woman to die in combat while serving in the U.S. military and the first woman to die in the Iraq war following an ambush in 2003. There are thousands more stories like these, stories of courageous American Indian and Alaska Native veterans who have shown us what it means to serve with honor. So this month and every month is a great opportunity, in fact, our responsibility for each of us at VA to stand in solidarity with Native American veterans and to connect with one another, to embrace the diversity of our veterans, which gives our nation its great strength. God bless you all and thank you for your service.